Hi, I'm in a kitchen today. I know, I know you're all wondering why. No one's wondering that. I wanted to make a spooky Halloween baking video. As I was going through all the different options of things I could bake in my mind, I just kept coming back to the same thing. I know it's weird, but I've been obsessed with this photo for months. It's from one of my favorite meme pages called Boys Who Can Cook, and I just can't stop thinking about it. I can't eat, I can't sleep. My brain will not rest easy until I recreate this. And I thought, hey, this is perfect for Halloween. What's spookier than lung cancer? What? You think? I mean, it's just a joke. Crap. Think I'm gonna get canceled? No. Oh, right, right. We'll be fine. This, by the way, is in no way me advocating smoking. I'm hoping that by the end of this, when you see how gross this is, you will never want to smoke again. Think of this video as like part of the D.A.R.E. program, which of course everybody knows stands for drugs are really expensive. That should demotivate you, to be fair. Don't spend money on real cigarettes, make candy cigarettes instead. No one's gonna make these. Anyways, let's just do it. Of course, there's no recipe for this since it's just some insane photo I found on the internet. Um, let's make this gross thing. First thing you need to do is fill up your pot with water so that you can create a double boiler situation to melt your chocolate in. Now just wait for it to boil. Why didn't I do this before? Just set out some parchment paper so you can put the pretzels on there when you're done dipping them. Really didn't think this through. So I bought a variety of sprinkles to make the ash part of the cigarette. I have this kind of dark gray, can you see it? To form kind of the ashes. I have a lighter one. And then I figured I could use some of this red as like the um, lit area. Ooh, she boiling. Okay, so that looks like it's almost ready. I apologize if I'm looking up every once in a while. I just got a viewfinder and she distracting. So I'm gonna be trying out these chocolate melts for the first time. I've never used these. I usually just do white chocolate, but this is supposed to be easier and I love easy. So. That's weird. Um, that tastes like sugary vegetable oil. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. But hey, it just adds to the grossness of this whole thing, right? That's ready. I believe doing this, you need to lower it first so that it's not uh, boiling crazy like that when you do the double boil. Okay, then just add some of your white chocolate or melts, whatever these are. Then you get your little baby spatula, which you should all definitely own. If you don't, what are you doing? So cute. Maybe I should get another angle of this. And I think that's good enough. 
who knows I don't know if I should remove this or leave it. Um, I'm gonna take it off. Go away, steam. Um. Where is my reference photo? So. Should I move you in closer? No. This is weird to attempt with one hand, but here we go. You dip around. That looks about right to me. Maybe some of the red to be the flame part. Maybe I should um, pour this on a bowl. Yeah. bulky but like it worked so I'm just gonna make two bowls one for the kind of like fiery part and the other for the ash see how that goes Don't use your teeth for stuff. This is what I have going on. So I realized the best method was to kind of like lay the bowl down like this on an angle and then as they're flat, it's a lot easier to like roll them and coat them. And then using the bowls too was a lot easier to just kind of like add the flame and then the ash part. Well, this turned out really well. I'm actually super pleased with it. I think it was the combination of these like gray sprinkles that made the ash that really, you know, set them apart from that original photo. So if you are gonna make these, I really recommend getting those kind of sprinkles. Nobody's gonna make these. Are they dry? I feel like I should do the little presentation part now. I don't know if I have anything I can use for an ashtray. Does this work?
Thank you for watching this completely pointless video. If you have more recommendations of uh, insane foods that I can make, let me know in the comments below. And if you want more of this chaotic kitchen in your life, go ahead and subscribe, you know, it's free. I got you. But I'm glad I got this out of my system, you know, I feel lighter, calmer. I can't wait to spook my book club with these. Anyways, have a happy Halloween, y'all.